When you visit a state as big and diverse as Texas, there are a million different trips you can take. Let's say you've got an appetite for whitewater kayaking. You can get your own. So this is why they call it Devil's River. Trip to Texas. Or maybe you have an actual appetite. I'll take a pound of brisket, six ribs, uh, three links of sausage, and a, a piece of pecan pie. Trip to Texas. Go to TravelTexas.com slash get your own for the only trip to Texas that matters. Yours. What do eight bags of concrete mix, a cooler full of 30-pound sea bass, and a 10-inch compound miter saw have in common? They're all things that are easier to load in and out of the bed of the new F-150. Thanks to its new available pro-access tailgate, that's also a swing gate. The new 2024 Ford F-150, tough this smart, can only be called F-150. Available starting early 2024, pro-access tailgate available starting spring 2024, cargo and load capacity limited by weight and weight distribution. Introducing Celebration Key, your key to paradise. Unlock Carnival's all-new exclusive destination at Grand Bahama, where you can dive into clear lagoons, try all the water sports, or unwind on a mile-long, pristine beach with breathtaking sunset views. This vacation paradise has it all. Celebration Key, welcoming guests in summer 2025. Carnival, choose fun. Copyright 2024, Carnival Corporation, all rights reserved. Ships Registry, the Bahamas and Panama. Well, it was all organized as it's, sh- you know, knowing Jackie, mm-hmm. it was really organized, but I ain't paid no attention to it. <laughs> I didn't think about Morocco to like January of that year. Oh, wow. Um, of course, when we had our conversation, I believe I bought my ticket in mm. August. Okay. I said, well, let's do the ticket. Mm-hmm. But I'm the type, like, I can't be fooling with this right now. I got mm. other things. When Morocco time comes, so when it came time, because we were going in April, I then I started thinking, okay, let me see what I'm wearing. One. Hey, welcome to Travel Tuesday Happy Hour, where we interview dope people doing dope things from around the world. And we are on season four, Voyage 22. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below to let us know what's going on. Now, Voice 22 is the culmination of the union of two amazing people, of which we brought 50 plus folks from the United States to Morocco, uh, specifically Marrakesh. And one of the amazing guests that was on this was kind of the real MVP, and she was everybody's auntie. And we have Aunt Wanda. Aunt Wanda, tell the people who you are and where you from. Well, I'm Wanda Jackson, called Aunt Wanda by everybody that was on the trip, most honored. Mm. I'm from New York, born and raised Mm. in New York City. I live here in Queens. Um, What else could I say about Uh, that? What do you do? Oh, I work for a German bank. In Manhattan, I've been there for 33 years. Wow. 30 I'm kind years. of proud of that. I've been there for 33 years. Um, IT, tech support for the users. Listen, listen, 33 years, 75. IT. We, we've we been in this game, so don't think you can't do it, right? Yeah, so um, IT, but you know, my job is good. Um, and as long as I stay healthy, I'm going to be there for max... Four more years. I, I mean, she's only retired. 25. Y'all can't tell. So she's. <laughs> I will be retiring hopefully in four years so I can travel and just do what I want. I could stay longer, but I want some retirement behind me. Awesome. I, want it, I just want the retirement. And in four years, I will know you didn't leave too early. You didn't leave too late. That's amazing. That's So you mentioned travel, right? Like you want to travel. What was the first travel experience that you've ever had oh my gosh i've done a lot of travel because it, it, it could be domestic it could just be no leaving i've queens done a lot of actually international. leaving new york for the first time right well Ooh. leaving harlem to queens you know there's a lot Where there's a lot I of stories go? so what was your first oh memorable trip that... memorable trip but it wasn't my first your, so what was your first trip well the first one i cannot I truly can't remember. It could be when I cruised with my mom Mm. and with the bowling league. That's when I met a few people. 
from the bowling league, but few friends, and they just thought my mom was cool because we were just all cruising together. Mm -hmm. I believe that was, um, that might have been either my first or second, but I've, you know, I've had like seven, eight cruises. I mean, for my 40th, I went on Alaska cruise. For okay. my 50th, I went on a Hawaiian cruise. Oh, so you for just, you just, flexed, you just flexed it on us right now. Well, you know, I, I did travel a lot and I'm, I'm happy too. And then I went to many Caribbean island cruise. So, I mean, many Caribbean island. Cause there was a time I was like, that cruise is good. So, it's so let's go much. back to the, to the one that sparked the need to want to continue to travel? Like, well, I don't think it was anyone that sparked it. Mm -hmm. It was just friends and family and just being able to just travel, mm. you know? Um, I don't have one that said, oh, this is what I want to do. I think if anything spark is the idea of when I, um, of when I retire... And then, and this is the way some of my trips took place because I went to Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, Wanda, we go. So you want to go? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I can go. I'm not, I don't have to look at my job. I can go. So that's, is the motivation. Gotcha. So that's really closer to my retirement. And no, it has taken place before that. Okay. Because I went on, um, uh, uh, it was a festival cruise. It wasn't on Tom Joyner, but it was a black cruise. Um, none but black people. It, it just, you know, you had some, but it was full of black people. And I mean, it was like, uh, Kirk Franklin, Drew Hill. Oh. Um, what's his name? Um, from uncle Tom. No uncle. He's a, a artist. He was with a group before. Oh, you got me. Okay. But you anyway, um, that was the year and that was, uh, 10 years ago. That was the year that. I went on a cruise, and then my an, a college friend from grad school, she said, it's my birthday. We share the same birthday, like two days apart. And she mm -hmm. said, I'm going to Costa Rica. Would you be? I'm like, wow, I'm just coming back. So <laughs> that sparked me, because as soon as I came back, I had two days to turn around. Now That excited now, me. Now, let's, 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 that excited let's take me. a couple of steps back. You just came back from a trip, I, uh, and then uh, you spent a day cruise you know, 33 or years... Gave you a lot of leeway to be able to take vacation. Yes. Okay. So, yes. you know, it wasn't a situation where you're like, you're just starting off and you're just taking trip after trip after trip. No, but. So you've, you've garnered the ability to be like, look, hey, I need to go a following week or I need to do this. That, that was other. A, two days after I came home and I agreed because I already made the plans. And two days later, I was in Costa Rica and Costa Rica was a trip for me that. I did everything. Mm. I did the bites. I did the the canopy. No, what you call that? The zip line. The zip line. I I came down a three thousand shoot. Ooh. We did a horse. I just did. Every, I'm surprised. I just did everything on that trip, and that was one trip where one of the excursion. And I was gonna go by myself, but another girl went with me because nobody else was really interested. Mm -hmm. One of the excursion was to go to Nicaragua. Mm. And I'm like, I'm going just to say I've been. I'm the type that, like, I'm going because I want to say I've been. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. know, I I can't say I was all excited about the trip, but I've been. Like, Morocco. Mm. I've been. We so get to that. we, we gonna went get to over that. to Nicaragua. We had to take our passport, so we spent the day over there. So, you know, my passport is stamped Nicaragua. Hey. And so, it was Costa Rica. So from there, what is one thing you look forward to every time you travel? Or are they, are there things that like inspire you to continue to travel? Because like for me, it's all about finding food in different places See, or learning culture. My thing on traveling as, or my my thing on travel or as hanging out and doing things is I did it. Mm. You know, I didn't just sit back and say no, I don't want to do it. I I did it. I went because it was to be done, mm. and it was something that I could say I did it. That's my, that's my travel um, experience. Experience and what I continue to look for. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Mm. Now, it's suffices to say, 
as I continue to travel, I want to go places I've never, never been. been. Gotcha. I've been so many times to the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few spots I haven't been, but I've been so many times to the Caribbean. I want to go on a European side. Mm. I want to do more stuff on a European side. Got it. You know, you know, so. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> what's been your most memorable trip so far? Well, my most memorable trip, I would say, is Morocco. Okay. Every okay. trip gets better, and Morocco is my most memorable trip. And what takes maybe a second to Morocco? What, what? What would take a second to Morocco? Like, it's a second place. Um, second place. I would say, right now, second place, I haven't been. What? Because I've been to the Caribbean, so I know what it's about. Okay. I've been to... Africa mm -hmm. twice, so I know what it's about. I think I I marinate as I get mature. Gotcha. I take the time to really enjoy. Mm -hmm. The other times that I've been, you can go, go. Mm. And you, you know, you at least can say you've been there. Okay. okay. So with Morocco, that was more marinated at my season year. Gotcha. Yes. So now you say that you just kind of go places just to say you've been. Does that mean you don't have a bucket list or you do have a bucket list of places you'd like? I to visit? have a bucket list of places, but there's it's like Italy. I want to go to Israel, the motherland. I want to experience that. I couldn't do it at the time. The people I wanted to go with. Oh, because, you know, my 60th birthday was more important. <laughs> some, You know, so I couldn't do it then. But I want to go to Israel. I want to go to Paris. Mm -hmm. I think at my age, I would enjoy it more. Right. I would really take it in. Right, right. You know, so okay. I got a few. I didn't create the bucket list yes, yet, but I got a few. Okay. I so some stuff up we're going to go into your most favorite trip. Which is Morocco. Right. So now, how did you get notified about this trip? Because there's a couple of different stories out there, right? So the first one was Jackie just sent a whole bunch of people emails like, hey, I need you to book this hotel. And then there's but the those other were those people. There was the other set of people like, you need to tell people this is a wedding. So okay. you got the wedding. I got the wedding a year ahead. That you know, you know, I want you know, I want y'all to be there, so and so. So I, I just got the wedding, you know, invitation. Uh, that it was, it was important for me to be there, and of course, I was honored because I love my niece. And she and and the, um, the amazing son-in-law that you, you know, the amazing son-in-law that you know. I received on this was uh, a topping on the cake. <sighs> it really was because my niece deserved this. Okay, she okay. truly do. And she got a good one. Thank you. She Thank got you. A good one. Thank you. So I'm happy. So Feel now happy. you got notice. Now it's time to start planning, right? So one of the things that we did was we reached out to Stella Travels, shout outs to Stella Travels, and she put together a series of excursions, right? So there's the basic excursion that's just everybody's situation and the extended trips, in addition to the hotels, transportation. Um, what excursions did you pick to to? Well, partake? I didn't jump on an excursion too much later. Oh, really? Yes. So, indeed. what was that planning aspect for you? Because you know, hanging with Jackie, and I heard that you know some of her friends were taking an excursion, and my thing was, well, you know, I don't think I can go to Africa for five days. Mm. That's a trip. There's certain trips you just can't take for me. Right. You can't take for five days. I've never been to Morocco, Africa, there. Mm -hmm. I went to an Africa trip in 2019. Mm -hmm. But I just feel you can't take a five-day, for me, mm -hmm. a five-day trip okay. for Africa. And so I told her, I said, you know what? I want to join mm -hmm. your friends. Right. I said, do you think they would mind? And she's like, please. <laughs> Listen, Aunt Wanda was the they life of the They want you to be trip. there, so it was good. Okay. And then it was another, um, Yomi's mom was going, mm -hmm. so it was, it was good. Okay. It was the best time. I'm glad I did it. And I, you know, um, also there's a few times if my, in my travels, very limited that I traveled by myself. Right. Right. Because, you know, you just got to do it and by we're, yourself. We're going to dive a little deeper, you yeah. know, cause you gave us a little surface. So now, um, planning out the trip. 
you know, Jackie, the meticulous individual that she is, mm -hmm. gave everybody. Gave, I don't. I'm not sure. One of you her sisters. One her. of her sisters. I think you're one of her sisters. Well, Jackie's a niece, sister. but she she claims to be <laughs> the fourth, fourth sister. sister, and that's fine. Um. So she gave everybody a travel guide. Mm -hmm. What did you think about the guide when you saw it? Well, it was all organized as it's you know. Knowing Jackie, mm -hmm. it was really organized, but I ain't paying no attention to it. <laughs> I didn't think about Morocco to like January of that year. Oh wow! Um, of course, when we had our conversation, I believe I bought my ticket in mm. August. Okay, I said, "Well, let's do the ticket." Mm -hmm. But I'm the type like I can't be fooling with this right now. I got mm. other things. When Morocco time comes, so when it came time, because we were going in April. I then I started thinking, okay, let me see what I'm wearing. And of course, my niece helped me. Mm -hmm. And she gave me beautiful selections because I'm like, I, I I don't see nothing, you know. And I'm not I'm not too particular. Mm -hmm. I'm easy. Mm -hmm. Really easy. I, I, I couldn't tell. I'm easy. <laughs> I'm really, I, I'm I really tell. easy. Okay. And so um, you know, she picked up a couple of outfits for me, and, okay. you know, so I had those. So now traveling to Morocco as a person that's primarily done the Caribbean, what was that difference of an experience going from here to Europe and then into Morocco? Um, well, you guys went into Casablanca and then Marrakesh, right? We flew into Casablanca and then we flew to Ca so uh, Marrakesh. was there any difference in the way you would travel typically to the Caribbean versus... No, okay. no, no. The only thing different about this trip, it wasn't a bathing suit trip as far <laughs> as I was concerned. I mean, and then I didn't see nobody else with it either. Right, so right, right. it wasn't a bathing suit trip, you know, the sun sitting on a beach and stuff like that. Um, so that was that was good. It, it, it was just a fabulous trip. And it was one of those trips that wasn't a bathing suit trip, uh, you know, because the island is strictly bathing suit and stuff like that. Okay, so now you land in Marrakesh for the first time, right? Yes. You've been to Morocco, you've been to Africa, but this is the first time being in Marrakesh. Right. Like, what was that experience like? It was a good experience, you know. Um, uh, people tend to 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 tell me, "Why you you excited? Yeah, I'm excited." Well, you sure? You know, you like you don't ah, 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 jump all around. I was excited because I'm I'm going someplace that I've never been. Mm -hmm. I'm going with a bunch of people that mm -hmm. are people that I know, people that I'm going to meet. Mm -hmm. So it was really a good trip for me, mm -hmm. you know. And on on the, and and I'm, it was a trip that just lasted in my brain for a while mm -hmm. when I came home. Nice. And it was a trip that I felt that you and Jackie blessed many people with, right? Because right. you know. I never thought about going to Morocco. Mm. That's why I had to stay 10 days because as much as I love it, you don't know if you're going to come back. <laughs> I got too many other places to go. Completely so understood. I don't think I'm, I don't think I would be back unless something special happened and I need to go back. All right. All right. So, so from the airport, they take you to Janan Thompson. Yes. That hotel, which is woman, black woman owned hotel. Yes. yes. Curated by her Marianne, amazing host, amazing owner. Um, what did you think about the hotel? Oh, I thought it was, I mean, I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. My room was really good. Mm -hmm. I had a nice room, but as I understood, I had good room because we booked early. Right. right. And I saw what happened to some that didn't, mm -hmm. but everybody enjoyed. My right. room was really nice. I shared it with my loving sister, mm -hmm. Jackie's mom. <laughs> and so that was good. And um, the hotel, I could say some things, but it was a good trip. Mm -hmm. I don't need to say anything other than what was good about it. Okay. You know, okay. So oh, I'll perfect. keep it like that. Perfect. We'll keep it moving. So the first night we have the dinner. We have the reception and the dinner, the rooftop reception and the oh, okay. long table dinner. Oh yeah, that was. What beautiful. was your th What were your thoughts? It was. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. The rooftop was nice, you know, um, because it was a dressy occasion. Mm -hmm. Of course, Jackie looked beautiful. I've shown the pictures many <laughs> times. Um, it was very nice. The rooftop and the entertainment that they had, mm -hmm. and the long table. 
uh, dinner was, it was really great. Mm. It was really great. Okay. Um, I don't think I've experienced that before. So. And then you were the star of the night because when we went to Marianne's house, there were so many times that you were going home well, yeah. and you decided to come back and continue to keep the party going. Somebody brought me you, back. You, I bless, don't know. You, you kept blessing us with your presence at the I party. Don't know. So, so that's why you became the official Aunt Wanda of the Aunt Wanda of the trip. Wow. So now, so now. When you visit a state as big and diverse as Texas, there are a million different trips you can take. Let's say you've got an appetite for whitewater kayaking. You can get your own. So this is why they call it Devil's River. Trip to Texas. Or maybe you have an actual appetite. I'll take a pound of brisket, six ribs, uh, three links of sausage, and a, a piece of pecan pie. Trip to Texas. Go to TravelTexas.com slash get your own for the only trip to Texas that matters. Yours. What do eight bags of concrete mix, a cooler full of 30-pound sea bass, and a 10-inch compound miter saw have in common? They're all things that are easier to load in and out of the bed of the new F-150. Thanks to its new available pro-access tailgate, that's also a swing gate. The new 2024 Ford F-150, tough this smart, can only be called F-150. Available starting early 2024, pro-access tailgate available starting spring 2024, cargo and load capacity limited by weight and weight distribution. Introducing Celebration Key, your key to paradise. Unlock Carnival's all-new exclusive destination at Grand Bahama, where you can dive into clear lagoons, try all the water sports, or unwind on a mile-long, pristine beach with breathtaking sunset views. This vacation paradise has it all. Celebration Key, welcoming guests in summer 2025. Carnival, choose fun. Copyright 2024, Carnival Corporation. All rights reserved. Ships registry, the Bahamas and Panama. We we have the reception dinner. We have the dinner the night before, and we we you know march into the wedding the next day. Yes. Um, Jackie and I give some com- amazing speeches. You know, we, our yes. vows. And Your vows. I had everybody crying. Yes. Everybody yes. had Jackie had everybody crying. Yeah. Um, and then we had the dinner, right? Like so, one of the things Jackie was very adamant about is making sure that everybody took back a little bit of Africa with them. Yeah. So. Yes. Um, one, I'm going to take a little step back. What did you think about the ceremony? And um, so during the ceremony, we asked everybody to kind of put their phones in a basket so they can be in the moment. Yes, um, which is a great did thing. You think, yeah, what did you think about that? And do you feel like it allowed people to really be in the moment? Yes, and those who didn't comply, they turned it off. Because mm. there oh. was one or two that didn't. Okay, They were okay. still in the moment. The purpose okay. was to be in the moment. And I didn't mind it. I, I was in the moment. Mm-hmm. I would have been in the moment anyway, regardless. Okay. Um, but yeah, the vows were really great. Mm-hmm. You both had nice vows. I, I, I enjoyed it. I loved it. Um, yeah, so it was good. Okay. I okay. thought it was really great. So wedding day is over. We move over to going to the Medina the next day for her mom's. Yes, that was the spy and all that. Yeah. yeah. So the hammam and was that the first time you've ever experienced a hammam? Um, hammam and rock and and meaning mm. in, in a Morocco. spa in in Africa. Right. Yes. Mm. Um, because that was the body scrub and then yes, the so that was oil. good. And I bought quite a few things. I go, I you know, I get so into the moment. Mm-hmm. That I'd just be buying things. Mm-hmm. And then I come home and I'm like, oh, why you bought that? But I'm the kind of person mm-hmm. that I bought it. I may not do it in the next four or five months, but it's gonna get done. It's gonna get used. So okay. suffice it to say my outfit. This is the first time I put it on. I hey. was like, I gotta put it on. This is a perfect time okay. to put it on for this interview. And then I'll wear it. Other times. Okay. Yeah. So did you enjoy the hammam or was a little like I different? did because um, I took, I'm always taking some lessons on how to take care of my skin, my face, mm-hmm. you know. Um, so I took back some lessons. I brought some stuff, uh, body scrub and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I, I learned 
while I was there, and I enjoyed it. Okay, I enjoyed okay. It. Yeah. And then the next day, and this is kind of like all the stuff for the basic itinerary, right? So the best, the next day we went to, you guys went to the YSL Museum and yes. the um, right. the garden. So what do you think about that? Well, that was good too. I mean, it's, it's not not jump excited for, but I'm excited because I went. <laughs> I'm excited because we had an itinerary. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for that to be there, so I can say I went to. I have pictures from the YSL mm-hmm. museum. Okay, but it was a museum, uh, you know. So now we're gonna jump into the fun stuff. What is that? The five extra days. Well, that I you gotta spent. pull out my paper so I okay. know okay. Okay. where I went. You ready? What for I this? did. So let's talk about this five extra days. Yes. So you guys did a camel ride to yes. the desert yes. and then did some glamping. And then yes. from there, so the Sahara, from the Sahara, you guys toured Morocco all the way up to Fez and then back to Casablanca. Okay, good. Wow. Glad your brain is working. I mean, I'm, I'm trying, yes. I got to do at least. So yes. what was, what was... What was your favorite part of that experience? Well, first of all, I call it a road trip and visiting different cities because it was a road trip. Okay. It was several times we were on that road for two hours or a little more or a little less. Mm-hmm. It was never quick, quick. And that's, I guess that's understandable going from the different places that right. we went. Oh, but it was very good. Mm-hmm. You know, we went and got on the camel. I believe that camel ride was... Over an hour Mm. trip to our glamping site. Right. And the one thing that was even more amazing. Was the sunrise? Yeah. That was one of them. (laughs) The fact that we stayed in three hotels and one campsite. Oh, wow. It was. First, we stayed in a hotel. We stayed in three. I think it was three hotel and one campsite. Mm. And I had a room to myself. Hey, yes, we're Which I was more. thinking as I get older, when I go, I'm just gonna listen. How much it costs? I want a room for myself. Hey, listen, that's, I want my that's own. all that matters. But it was good. Um, the first hotel we went, we just really got there and we stayed overnight, ate, I believe we ate dinner and then we ate breakfast. Mm-hmm. And then we left and moved on to, I believe, to our camel ride. Mm. And then the camel ride was like, over, I think it was over an hour. Mm-hmm. And we got lovely pictures with that. Mm-hmm. And um, we went to our campsite. It was nice. And everybody asked me, because they think that I went camping. Camping, I'm <laughs> saying. But I believe this is called glamping. Right, right. And this is what they're doing now in the States anyway. Right. Because um, I have my own room. Um, you know, on my, you know, the home room with the bath and everything. Right, right. And we stayed there one night and we, did we eat dinner? We ate dinner, of course. Every place we went, we had dinner mm-hmm. and then breakfast. And then you and had then an left. amazing, amazing guide, Saeed. Yeah, Saeed, Saeed. was very good. Um, and we did, when we left the camping, we did snowboarding. Oh, sandboarding. Sandboarding, sandboarding. Mm-hmm. I always have to remember before I, I speak on it because when we were going there, I, I picture it like snowboarding. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, that might be one of my small regrets because mm-hmm. I really could have did it even though, you know, I am you know have a little knee issue. Mm-hmm. But the way we did it, I could have did it. Okay. So. okay. But it, it was fun. Everybody enjoyed so, it. So you got your list. So let's talk about what we did. Yeah. So we, you know, we left Marrakesh mm-hmm. and we went to, I can't pronounce all of this. Okay. Um, but, you know, I'm just, you know, in case I need Fez was like on day four. Mm, okay. um, we went and um, one of the, I'm just going to, I'm not going to give you one day at a time mm-hmm. because. It's, 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 it's just a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, on our way, once we left uh, Marrakesh, that was a good five-hour ride. Mm. But we stopped at different sites, and we bought little trinkets, and we were on, like, a big mountain or something like that looking down. We took pictures. This is where our amazing um, um, tour guy, mm-hmm. Saeed, did. He just does great job touring. He just... He does that camera action. He looks at you and then he takes the camera and run with you. And, you know, he gives you really good shots. So he gave amazing. everybody a good shot. That's mm-hmm. amazing. He gave everybody a good shot. Um, and then we bought stuff there and then we went to just different 
we stopped at one place where it was probably a friend of his, or, you know, maybe because he's a tour guy. Mm -hmm. And we all put on um, uh, African, uh, all our Morocco garb, mm -hmm. and we took a group picture mm -hmm. with that. Oh, nice. Yeah, we have that. That's on the, you know, you could probably see it on the WhatsApp right. um, group tour. Um, and, and then we went... You know, we went, one of the trips was to the tannery, mm -hmm. and I was wondering why they gave us this big swig of mint. But mm -hmm. once you got up there, you realize why yeah, you got the big tannery is real. Yeah, this is where they clean, they clean and, and, and stain the stain leather. Stain and color and all of that. So from there, I brought me a nice jacket mm. and a bag because uh, I was very concerned that my bag was too heavy. I mean, you were stopping and buying, stopping and buying. So at some point or another, you can only expect. So rule number one, when traveling at least to like certain countries for the first time, try to like, you're going to find the same trickets everywhere. Yeah. And so, you know, nine times out of 10, they're going to want you to buy it because it's like, oh, this is how we feed our family. The same trickets you see on the streets, you're going to find them at the airport. But, you know, buying it locally, you're, you're, you're supporting the local economy. So, but the thing is, you know, you gotta, you can't be buying everything. Everything. You can't but buy my everything. bag was, to me, was on the border of heavy mm. when I came. But the one thing about Air Morocco, which was great, mm -hmm. you were allowed to take two. Nice, nice. I didn't know that. And it's a good thing I didn't, because I would have took two under the plane and yeah. one on top. But it allowed me to take two under the plane going back. Okay. Nice. And Air Morocco was a good, I like it. It That's was nice. air room. It was a lot so, of. Yeah, I hear that? Air Morocco. It was, yeah, Holland. it was leg room. Mm. You know, because when I went to Africa before coming back, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> it, was, it was a trip, but I, it was a mem memorable trip, but. The travel back, I try not to remember that. So, so that all day. in all, you said this was like a really good trip for it you. It was, it was. And, um, you know, I, I know there's a lot of emotions tied to this trip. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, of course, seeing me and Jackie come together. Mm -hmm. um, what was the most memorable moment for you in this trip? The wedding. Mm. Because that's the reason I was in Morocco, okay. because of the wedding. And like I said earlier... She blessed you guys, mm -hmm. bless many people. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people there that wouldn't have even thought about going to Morocco, but made the best once mm -hmm. they were there because there was other people that took excursions, right. you know, and, um, you know, went to uh, different places after the trip. So it, the, the most memorable part for me was for my new. Okay. And my new son and my new nephew. So you've traveled a lot. You've mm -hmm. traveled the world a lot. Um, some solo, some with friends. And so my question to you is, you know, what has traveling while as a black woman looked like for you? Has it been always great? Has it ever had any turmoil? Or it's always just been the same for you? It's been the same. I have not had any conflict or turmoil, mm -hmm. even when I traveled a and it's just been like a handful of times that I've traveled by myself. Mm -hmm. It's really always with a group or a group of friends or with a tour group, something okay. like that. But I've never experienced um, no turmoil. Mm. You know, I've been blessed. I, you know, I understand there is out there, mm -hmm. but I've never had it smack me in the face. And sure. is that because you have an open mind and aren't expecting it? Or it's just, it's nothing that's been like in the forefront of your mind? I think I have an open mind should it happen, mm -hmm. but I don't expect it to happen. Because um, I've traveled as a woman. Um, uh, I don't expect it to happen, but... I won't be surprised if it did. Okay. I would just keep moving because I can't let that interfere. Because because you know? I think a lot of times people don't know what how we're treated or how we're seen in overseas. Yes. Right? And so the biggest issue some people have is they may not have been well-traveled or been around people that are well-traveled. So I asked this question just so that people can understand we're not always treated the same we are here 
over other places. And I've heard that from you know? other people, but maybe because the travels that I've done mm -hmm. were more black, mm. even though it was international. Now, maybe when I go over to some place like, but even I thought Europe, you know, that would be good too. Mm -hmm. But I mean, even when I was in Alaska or Hawaii, you know, I'm not there for a long time. And maybe because it was the cruise and right. I'm on the ship. Um, I believe, yeah, I'm on the ship. So, you know, the ship is yeah. big and a mm -hmm. lot of people and right. you're assigned. So you're not really interacting with too many other people. Right. Um, and when I go uh, not cruising or even when I'm cruising, when I go not cruising, um, I may do local stuff, but it's not a lot, you mm, know, okay. because I understand the danger at mm -hmm. some point and I got to make sure I feel safe mm -hmm. to do local. Okay. Um, so it depends if, if anything, I may just stay on the resort mm. depends on who I went with. Right. And you know, I may not go local. I'm not, I'm not always thrilled to go local, mm. you know, right, right. I'm just thrilled to be there. So, so yeah. as a person who is traveling to live life, right? We all came out of or somewhat still in a pandemic, right? What is your new normal looking like today? Well, after I came back from Morocco, I was like, maybe you better start thinking about this. Because, <laughs> um, it was good. Everything worked out. But I've, I've, I've talked to uh, colleagues who got stuck. Mm. Because if you tested positive, mm -hmm. coming back, you couldn't just come back. Mm -hmm. um, so it made me think. I mean, I did go, like, with my sister to Bahamas in 2021. That mm. was in a real, you know, uh, that was still pandemic. In the middle, yeah. But it was still good. I mean, I think if you, if you travel and you keep yourself pretty safe, mm -hmm. because even before I left for Morocco... At my job, I was making sure I stay masked up because there was so many people just not wearing masks. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't need to be. It was a conscious thing. Right. It, and with the new pandemic, it's a conscious, right. a conscious thing. Because I did not want to have to all of a sudden test positive and then I couldn't go on a trip. Right, right. Then all of a sudden test positive and I couldn't come home. Mm -hmm. But it was a concern. Right. Because, you know, we had to get the test like three hours before we were boarding. Yeah, yeah. And we literally got the result back while we're online. And it's <laughs> like, this is, that could be a bit stressful. So yeah. I thought about it coming back. <laughs> Let's just see, because if it's an opportunity to go someplace, I would probably go. <laughs> and I think, you know, I'll just try to be careful mm. because I probably, I'm not going to let the pandemic stop me from an opportunity. That I haven't done. Gotcha, gotcha. Because even my friend said that. Mm. So, well, you're going and stuff, and I'm not letting the pandemic stop me. I'm not running a lot. Mm. But then I wouldn't say I'm not running more than I would normally run. Got it. Got it. You and Jackie are. <laughs> I mean, we, we move. Which is not, I couldn't be a time of travels if, I, if we're I not moving you. around. You I know? hear you. But um, um, I've done the normal. So mm. I have not I have not said no because of the pandemic. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the pandemic slow down the questions of going because I have a lot of friends that just like, well, I'm not traveling now mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, but it hasn't been a need for me to say, oh, let me go by myself. I'm going. No. But I haven't said no because of the pandemic. Okay. So, so now talk to the fans, talk to the audience. What are like maybe top five tips or top three tips that someone that's trying to get into traveling that you would recommend them do? Well, I would say, um, you know, be certain. Of course, if you decide to travel, it must be where you want to go. Mm -hmm. But in the new pandemic, be very careful. Because as you see now, there are still people testing positive. Mm -hmm. I mean, the quarantine situation has lessened, and that's great. So I'm sure that that would be um, good as you travel. Um, it won't be so stringent and long when you, you know, should that happen? But, you know, you have to be, you have to take care of yourself. This new quarantine is about you taking a personal attitude to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, don't let it stop you from traveling. 
because we're in a new normal now, but follow the new normal, follow the, the guidance of what you need to do because every country has its own guidance and they're opening, they're opening up to let you come in. So I would just say, you know, just be very careful, very careful. And to my young people, be very careful. It's still dangerous out there. Just know what you're doing and be safe. That's okay. all I really could say, because don't let the pandemic stop you from traveling. Okay. If it's something you want to do. Well, thank you for being on the show. I hope this was painless. Was it bad? Okay. okay. I just didn't know what to expect, but okay. it was it wasn't bad. It was good, matter of fact. All right. Awesome. It was my nephew. Awesome. And boy, when you came in and set it up, I was like, whoa. So we both was put Okay, okay. So with that being said, I want to say thank you again. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell so you guys know when new episodes drop. Once again, travel more, stay safe. Peace. When it comes to family vacations, there are a million different trips you can take. You can get your own... trip to Texas. Or if you prefer a vacation from your family, you can always get your own leave the kids with grandma Yay! trip to Texas. So go to traveltexas.com slash get your own for the only trip to Texas that matters. Yours. Whatever job you need to do out there, grab the right tool to get it done. The new F-150 with an available hybrid engine and up to 7.2 kilowatts of pro power on board to power things on the go. It's not a tool you'll hang in a tool shed, but you can certainly use it to build one. The new 2024 Ford F-150. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Available starting early 2024. Optional features the owner's manual for important operating instructions. What makes the Carnival Cruise fun? That's up to you. Maybe it's a ride on boat, a roller coaster at sea, or a deep tissue massage at the spa, Creole-inspired cuisine at Emerald's Bistro to laid-back bites at Guy's Burger Joint, excursions that take you from jungle adventures to beach days at Mahogany Bay, and sunsets from the top deck. Long story short, no one does fun like Carnival. Carnival, choose fun. Ships Registry, Bahamas, Panama.